Okay, so this video is meant to demonstrate how to change the palm rest on a Lenovo ThinkPad X230T convertible tablet uh, laptop. And what you'll need to do this is a Phillips head screwdriver, uh, maybe some tweezers might help, a flathead screwdriver, which I will get in just a moment. Okay, just a small flathead screwdriver. And of course, a replacement and palm rest. This is a complete assembly that I pulled off of um, another laptop, exact same make and model. So the first thing that I'll show off is the damage on the palm rest. And this damage does not affect the performance of the laptop at all. It's purely vanity. Um, and since I intend to sell this laptop, I wouldn't mind if it had a palm rest that looked a lot better. This, uh, this big chip missing here, I feel, kind of sticks out like a sore thumb. Um, it wouldn't bother me necessarily, but I think if I'm meaning to sell it, I may want to have it looking as new as possible. And honestly, this laptop is so awesome that a little bit of a facelift, I think it deserves it. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is remove the battery. Anytime you're dealing with any components that touch the motherboard, it's always a good idea to remove all power, all sources of power, whether that be the adapter or the uh, laptop battery. So we'll take the Phillips head screwdriver, we'll remove the back panel to reveal where the RAM is installed. Just two screws that generally stick to the panel with washers. Uh, so we have the RAM here. We just need to remove the screw here for the keyboard and the second screw here for the keyboard. Okay, get those out. We'll just stick them off to the side here. And now we have one, two, three, four, and five screws remaining for the palm rest. Make sure we got all the screws. We got one, two, three. Sometimes a nice little light tap. Get the screws out. There's one. These are very durable laptops, but you don't want to smack it around too much. There we go. So now that we have all the screws out, we'll open it back up. We'll take our small flathead screwdriver and you just want to score along I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit for this one you just want to score along the uh, bottom of the keyboard here and use the screwdriver to pry up and we can just unplug that from the board and now we have you can see a little blue ribbon cable right here. I'm just going to reposition the camera to get a better look at that. Okay, this is where I like to use tweezers once in a while. So we have a little blue tab here. We can, oh, of course we have the white tab here, which holds the ribbon cable in place. We can take the tweezers, Grab the little blue tab and pull it right out. Very simple. And now, just gently pry up the um, palm rest. You might hear a little snap or two, the plastic clips releasing the palm rest, but it comes out very easy. 
Um, don't apply too much pressure if you're feeling resistance, but uh, generally speaking, it should come out very easily. And you can see here, I have a, right beside the Wi-Fi card, I have a MSAT SSD installed, which is awesome because you can install that plus have a second hard drive for storage in this little machine. Uh, brief tour here, we have this um, PCI Express slot, uh, our Bluetooth, and there's our CMOS battery. And all sorts of little things that you can replace very easily once you remove the palm rest. So now that we have that out of the way, I'll grab our new one. And just like how we took the other one out, we'll gently put this one back in and just snap it into place. Okay, and we'll grab the ribbon cable with the tweezers and we'll gently put it back, connect it back to the motherboard. It should be very recognizable when the uh, ribbon cable is placed correctly because there's two little tabs that will fall in place. If you look at it closely, it'll make sense. So now we can put the keyboard back on as well. Okay, and now that we have that installed again, before I go ahead and put any screws back into the laptop case, I'm just going to plug it in and we'll do a quick test boot just to make sure everything works. Okay, time for the first test. Okay, so far so good, we have no error codes. Just wait for your windows to boot so we can test out the... Okay, so I do apologize for the lines on the screen. I don't have the best lighting set up here right now. Hopefully something I can improve in the future, but anyway, you can see that the palm rest works quite well. So, just to demonstrate again. Looks like it all works. It's very nice. Perfect. Just to complete the video, I'll put all the screws back in to the laptop and we'll just do a quick summary before we uh, end the video. Okay, so now that we have everything put back together, we can resume using this awesome laptop. Um, so that ends the tutorial. I just wanted to spend more time talking about this awesome thing. Um, I'm just a ThinkPad enthusiast, I think, is what it's becoming. So I love uh, working on the laptops and all the desktops too that I've encountered are pretty nice, at least this series. So anyway, that concludes the tutorial. Hopefully that helped you out. And hopefully you don't get too discouraged when you see that your palm rest is all chipped up. Turns out it's very easy to replace. So hopefully this tutorial helped you out. Have a nice day and thanks for watching.